Hi everybody, my name is Talas and today I will show you how to make a simple series in parallel circuits in a program called Multisim. So what is Multisim? Multisim is an electronic semantic caption simulation program which is a part of suite of circuit design programs along with NI Alterboa and it's a very useful program that can help you to find mistakes in your circuits or to see what kind of measurements you should get on your circuits and so on. So for this tutorial you're going to need this program as well as basic understanding current and electricity. So first step in building series and parallel circuits in Multisim is pressing place on the top left corner of the uh, screen and uh, pressing component. After you've done that, you're going to see this pop-up, which is called select a component pop-up. Uh, and you're going to be ready for step two, which is to find and select your parts. So the parts in Multisim are split in groups as well as families. Groups contains like categories of parts and families contain specific parts. So in our case, we're gonna need parts from sources group and basic group. So let's select sources. And in, our, in sources, we're gonna need to select a power supply and ground. So we're gonna use DC power supply and a, a normal ground. And you just select them by pressing okay and placing them on the screen. And the pop-up is going to come up right back up from where you left off. So it should be a really easy process to select your parts. So, And we're also going to need resistor for our circuit. So let's select a random resistor. And you can see uh, if your uh, thing doesn't come up uh, on the resistor family, you, gonna, you can select them from the side. In my case, it was default on resistor. So I just select OK. And this makes all the parts we're gonna need for a series uh, DC circuit. So after you've done that, it's, uh, you're ready for third step, which is to connect your parts. But you should be aware that you can move your parts. Uh, you can line them up nicely. And uh, so let's start. Uh, so to connect your uh, circuit, you're gonna press on the end points of your uh, source uh, part. And then you're just gonna drag it and connect it to your uh, other parts. Uh, in this case, I'm going to make it like this. Uh, and you connect your ground from like this. And uh, that's how you get the simple series circuit. So for parallel circuits, it's the same process. You pre press place again, press component, and you select your parts again. So we're going to go to sources group and select the another DC power, and as well as ground. And then we're going to select a couple resistors this in this case, as a uh, parallel circuit has more than one resistor. And it can be any kind of resistor in our case. Then you close your pop-up and uh, align your parts. So we're ready for parallel circuit now. So when you build a parallel circuits, you pr should press on the, part, on the resistor part. And uh, rotate them 90 clock degrees clockwise. Each resistor, so they would align better. Now you just m move them to make them look slightly nicer. Not necessarily perfect. It doesn't matter as long as you apply electricity loss, anyways. So first thing you should do is, from your source, drag it all the way to the last resistor and just drag it back to back to source since this is positive and this is negative so as you can see we have two resistors in the middle that are not connected and you connect them to both sides as this is a parallel circuit and in just case you don't know these red little bubbles are called nodes so if you would measure a specific point on the graph like let's say this is A and B, you will connect your uh, meter to that point. So let's connect ground and we are done. We have a DC power uh, parallel circuit. So we have both series and parallel circuits now. So what's next? So fourth step is to actually test your circuits to see if they wor actually work and did you made any mistakes. And you do that by selecting a simple multimeter on the very right corner of the screen and let's just place two of them 
for both circuits and you're ready to test your circuits so now that we put our uh, meters we should connect them so in case of current to measure the current you open the circuit and make sure you connect them and in case of voltage you're just gonna drag the between the parts or nodes to measure voltage and now you're ready to measure the parts so now that you set everything up you are ready to start the simulation of uh, your circuits and you you do that by pressing F5 or uh, the green arrow button on very last tab of the screen in the middle you press that and your circuit is running now when your circuit is running you can't edit anything or delete anything you can only press on your meters and change between amps voltages and so on and as you can see this this uh, multimeter is measuring 1.56 amps which sounds about accurate and this one is measuring 12 volts and if you know your uh, electricity laws you will know that each uh, resistor has the same voltage as this is parallel circuit and uh, according to electricity laws all vo voltage is the same throughout the, uh, throughout the circuit so that's it and that's how you build a series and parallel circuit so thank you for watching and I hope this tutorial was helpful for you uh, on how to build a series and parallel circuits on this program and uh, I hope you try this program out and uh, see how you like it thank you